she was 19 and she was dumped at the shelter by her family. Get you out of here, huh? You need to come home, sweet girl. There was no doubt in our mind we were going to go help this girl. We had to get a cart so that we can get her to our car. And we loaded her into the car. All right, sweet girl. The very first thing we did was go get her some burger patties. Yeah, good girl. Sweet girl definitely needed a treat. So Lauren, her foster mommy, actually found us. And I saw Annie's sweet face on social media. And they told me that the vet is saying that we're lucky if she has a month. We were just happy bringing her somewhere where she can be comfortable and feel an hour of love, days of love, week of love, whatever it might be. Her first few days here, we definitely noticed that she was smiling a lot more. We have just a big thing of dog toys sitting in the living room. She walked over there and got herself a toy and we were like, oh my goodness, she's acting like a puppy with a toy. At that moment, we were kind of like, okay, she's got some life in her. What do we do next? That is where we kind of came up with the bucket list. How many things could we cram in to like, give her the best spoiled time that she could possibly have? It started out with a birthday party. We had dogs come over. And we had a pool and a bubble machine. We just tried to make it as fun as possible. And then we did Christmas. We did Valentine's Day where she got hundreds of Valentines. Is that your party dress? From literally all over the world. She's gotten packages from the Netherlands from Spain, from Italy. You want me to open them for you? It's really, really awesome to see all of the love that Annie is being showered with. You like that birthday cake? A lot of the senior dogs that we do take on have been neglected for years. Evidence that a toothless dog can chew off candles. And we are trying to show them what the good life could have been like all those years. I'm sure you were a toy destroyer in your golden days. Going on a ride, Annie girl. We were told a month in just a couple days it will be four months, and so we're definitely grateful for that. One of the things that we hear a lot is, oh my god, I can never foster a senior dog, it would be so heartbreaking. But we can assure you that the joy that comes along with it outweighs the grief that you will feel. I think the initial joy that we got from seeing joy in her being comfortable in a home is worth it enough really for us. She's taught us a lot about being brave and a lot about having hope for a future. She's like, uh.